Right. What we have here, of course, is a Prius battery. This is off a Mark II. The European Mark I, but the actual Mark II. Um, it's like that. Okay. And <coughs> so, we have here... Oh, it's not going to be easy to see, but I'll put that light on. Uh, not just going to help. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got, as you can see, there's a connection in there. It's going to be dark, but yeah, hey ho. <coughs> that's the negative one, and that's the positive one. And normally these have a breaker attached to them, which has two connections there, but I've actually joined it across. See, so it's now a complete circuit, which means the whole battery is now in. You've got your, like, your negative is actually there. Okay, there, and the positive is actually there. Okay, as you can see the connection. Okay, so, I mean, we're not using it on high power, so it doesn't matter if the wires are thin. But basically, those are the two connections. You've got black and red there. Okay, black and red, through to, and this is actually uh, mains uh, trunking cable. <coughs> okay, we're just taking a few precautions just to make sure things don't go wrong or if they do go wrong we can cover and cover them okay so oh, I'll put that back on later but basically I'll put it underneath so it goes through this trunking cable here now, this is obviously through this is 280 volts so it's mains but DC is everywhere so we're using mains wiring and there it is and it goes down there along there over there down here down here, there, and here. Okay, comes round and up to there. Okay, so this is the uh, this is where the battery is connected to. Yes, it has. Okay. So we have our charger circuit. Okay, the base circuit. If it comes up, it's that, basically. And here we have. A capacitor and a, and a lamp, and these are just basically just a couple of test bits. Okay, so they're not actually in the circuit, but we do have a positive and a negative, and basically those are the ones that we're charging the battery from. Okay, now what we have is our meter measuring the terminal voltage of the battery. So it is connected in through basically it's connecting to the terminal. There's one terminal there. I've been experimenting with trying to find out the current passing using the resistor, but hmm. and we've got the positive and negative from the battery there. This is connecting to the uh, scope, <coughs> and the current terminal voltage is 298. Now, if I actually turn off the charger, okay, you'll see that the, the voltage should drop. There you go, the voltage is dropping to about 285 volts, okay, and the scope goes flat back. Okay, so if I turn it on again, the voltage goes up to 298, and we can see we've got a ripple. Now, what that means is, is that the voltage is peaking above the battery voltage. Okay, now I have got a diode in this here, this is a power diode, in line, as you can see. So there's the negative through to a diode which then goes through to our charger which I'm, it's, it's just jointed, the terminal, of the, the capacitor isn't in the circuit but it's just using that where the terminals were. Okay, so that's the negative through a diode, it's obviously pointing the right way and then the positive goes to the positive circuits, okay, and this this is the scope so you can see, and that's the volt, that's actually what's going on. Now, <coughs> the actual voltage is, right, uh, let's just get this in focus so you can see I can't do it can I because the camera is in the way of the light and the light's in the way of the camera oh whatever right but basically you can see uh, if I screw no never mind if I hold it still and I don't put my arm in the way you can probably see so we've got here there you might not be able to make it out but basically it's saying four point it's about four point four volts. Peak to peak is four point four volts, right? So that's dropped because originally it was about five. 
right? And what that means is, is that the terminal voltage is being pushed up, right, only slightly by the power. This is coming in from the mains. So this is mains, okay, this is 240 volts AC, RMS mains, right, which actually obviously peaks up higher, it actually peaks up to 340, okay. <clears throat> and our battery is 285 volts so that means that we have got the ability to push the terminal voltage above 285 volts and we are doing there you go average voltage this is measuring the average voltage is now currently 298 okay and that's gone up because originally it was about 297 so it is charging the battery it's not very much but it's charging it but we don't want it to charge it very very much simply because the battery is actually charged <laughs> so we don't really want to transfer much charge into it right now because we'll damage it right but what it does prove is that even on a fully charged battery I, it won't be fully charged it'll be about 60 percent charged right because when they come out of a Prius Prius tries to maintain it at 60 percent and that came out of a Prius so it is actually transferring charge into the battery which is the point of a charger so it's doing its job now this is a charger which is one uh, three pound component from Maplin um, there's a diode and a switch there which won't be necessary if it's being topped up a potentiometer some resistors you know we're talking about ten pounds worth of kit right and it's working this is ten pounds worth of kit to charge a Prius battery right 285 volt battery Right now, this does not, when it's actually in the mass EV, have to charge a 285 volt battery. It only has to charge a 240 volt battery. So obviously, if it can charge a 285 volt battery, then it can do a 240 volt battery, and we can turn it down because that's what this control does. You'll see. There you go. You can see it change. See, we're reducing it. it doesn't show much because obviously it's not making much difference to the peak voltage. Okay and I can do it to half wave you see half wave and reduce it there we go and it's, it's 290 volts now okay if I turn that up it'll go up yes it does 291 put it on to full wave and we get 298 so it's making the voltage the terminal voltage of the battery rise okay and it's only down to whatever the terminal the internal resistance of the battery is to work out how you know exactly how much charge is being put in it and it's not going to be much because obviously that's as near as damage to 300 volts and the battery originally is 285 volts so we're talking about a 15 volt difference all right now i can calculate i can find out what the internal resistance of a nickel metal hydride cell is and then we there we go you got resistance you got the voltage so you know how much current's going to be running so we can work out how much current's being put into it but it works okay it's charging the battery this is a high voltage charger that runs from a domestic main supply with about ten pounds worth of components and it will charge the battery we don't need thousands of pounds worth of high quality components it'll do it there we go end of story it's done